Now, hello and welcome back to CMG Forex Lessons. This is a masterclass on mastering your candlestick patterns, right? And basically, uh, we are at trading what? The engulfing bar with trend lines, right? We have looked at trading the engulfing bar with the, the moving averages and then the FIB, the Fibonacci retracement. So this uh, current video, will focus on trading and golfing bar with trend, trend lines. And this is episode 21, right? So please pay attention. If you have not watched the recent videos, please watch that and then come back to this video. So that is now, trend lines give traders an idea about the psychology of the market. It gives them the idea about the psychology of the market especially the psychology between buyers and sellers. So when you say the psychology, what is actually happening, right? There are reactions, the fight between them, who takes over, right? And which pressure, which kind of money, amount of money went into the market for that particular what, trade. So that's what it means by what psychology, right? So that is now. Um, the psychology between buyers and sellers, more, moreover, it allows professional traders to determine whether the market is pessimistic or optimistic, right? Whether you can be hopeful about it or we, uh, we can't be hopeful. Now, this technical trading tool is used in different ways, either as support and resistance by drawing them horizontally or to identify price and time by drawing trend lines vertically. There's no wrong way in using trend lines. So there's no special way. Now, we have treated trend lines already, right? So if you don't know what trend lines are, I would suggest you go back to what trend lines are. You have to have idea of what trend lines are, how they are drawn, right? and then where they are drawn so that you can actually want to treat them. So that is what we are doing. Now, this technical, this technical trading tool is used in different ways either as support and resistance by drawing them horizontally or to identify price and time by drawing trend lines vertically. There's no, there's no wrong way. There, there, in fact, that is it. Now, in, in, in trending markets, we use simply, we use simple trend lines, right? We use simple trend lines to highlight a trend by connecting swing highs and swing lows in price. This way, this way helps us find high probability entry setups in line with the general trend of the market. So whatever we have ready, I'm going to summarize them here. Now, whenever you are drawing trend lines or support or resistance line and levels, we are dealing with what swing highs and swing lows, right? We have treated this already, swing highs and swing lows. That is where you draw your lines. So in this, in this particular chart, the swing highs are these areas, right? The prices are the top, right? The prices are the top. The points are the top. They are called what? The swing highs, right? If you take a candlestick like this, let me draw it this way, right? Look at my drawing. The swing high is here. Right, and then the swing low is rather here. So that is what it is. So this is what a downtrend. So in downtrend, your trend lines are drawn at the top, and then in uptrend, your trend lines are drawn at the bottom of the prices. Yes, so that is what it means. So we have seen what or how trend lines are drawn. Right, so we we'll talk about how to trade them. Now, by connecting extreme ends, we have the trend line that acted as resistance level, and the formation of, of the engulfing bar pattern shows a good selling opportunity. If you use just horizontal support and resistance levels, you will miss this profitable trade. Right, so in trending, market, we use trend lines. And that's what the general rule. In trending market, we use trend lines. And in consolidating market, we use the support 
and resistance level, the traditional one. Learning about how to draw trend line is never a bad idea because it is the simplest analytic tool that you can use to analyze financial markets. It works in all markets, whether it is forex, commodities, futures, or options. Right, so basically we are dealing with what forex. Sometimes commodities can be what traded in forex, right? So with forex, basically dealing with the currencies, currency pairs. Commodities can be gold, can be diamond, can be bauxite, can be cocoa and all that, right? We have futures too, and we have options. Mm -hmm. They are all financial market that we can trade, right? So that is it. Now, like I said, this is what an uptrend, pricing higher highs and higher lows, right? Prices are moving up generally. So the trend line is drawn at the bottom, like I said earlier, right? And then when trend lines are drawn, you wait for where patterns are formed, right? Then you can what? Enter the market. So you see the trend line. These prices did not touch here, but there's no problem with that. If the point touch um, at least two points, it's what? It's valid. You can actually consider trading that trend. So that's what it means, right? If the point touches at least two, two points on that line, that trend line, you can consider trading it. It means it is tradable. To the point that you touch, you look at that point. Now, what do you see here? You see what? Bullish engulfing. Bullish engulfing in a bullish trend. You have look at all these things. You can buy in the, uh, in the bullish market and you sell in what? Uh, a bearish market. That's what, that's the general rule. For amateurs or intermediates, that's what you have to do. Don't do any counter tra trading here. So that is it. Now, the chart above shows a bullish trend. The trend line acts as a support level. The price action signal that occurred created a great buying opportunity. So, that is it, right? How to trade a golfing bar in sideways market? So in the trend and then in, in the trendy one, and then we are going to be in the consolidating one. If you see sideways, sideways, another name for sideways is what? The market is what? Consolidating or it is ranging, right? Prices are moving generally between some channel. They don't, they don't move past it. For a number of times, that's what they do. So that is that is uh, what sideways market or consolidating market. Now, one of the most difficult markets to predict can be what the sideways and raging market. You see, I always recommend traders to focus on trading trending markets, but the problem is that the markets spend more than seventy percent of their time in ranging motion, and this is very true. The market usually what? Um, ranges, right? The market many a time ranges than in the trend. You see, when the market is trending, it is very obvious, and in fact, everyone can actually work, make, make money in that. But when market is what ranging, it's, it's quite tricky, right? You can lose whilst others are what's gaining. So that's what the book is saying. So look at the percentage. So it means that if you actually want to adapt to the, the, the training strategies, then you should stick to what? The, the ranging what? Market type. Master it and then get money from that. So now, um, okay. One of the most, I think, okay, yeah. yeah. We are here. If you focus just on trend, trending market, you probably leave a lot of money on the table. This is the reason why learning how to approach range band market is a must. If you want to make decent living, trading fun, decent living in trading what the financial market, right? So we can actually what trade this. Now, let me draw your attention once again. We have different strategies uh, in respect to what? The type of what? The market structure that we see, right? Someone may trade only one type of what strategy. 
Another may have two strategies. It depends on the market structure. So it doesn't really what matter. You just every the nature of the market and then how you what you trade it. Right? You can't use one strategy to trade another uh, market. You will lose. So that is that is the 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 the, the, the trick here. Now Um, okay. Now, when the market, what is the range band market? Okay, we are going to look at that. When the market stop making higher highs and higher lows in case of an uptrend or downtrend, right? Uh, when the market stop making higher highs and higher lows in case of an uptrend or lower highs and lower lows in case of an uptrend and downtrend, the price starts acting between specific high, high price and low price, right? That's the channel that we are talking about. It's a clear signal that the market is ranging and then there's a trending. So this is one of it. This is what a trending market. Trending, you move as if, yeah, then, yeah. So this is a trending market. And then you realize that anytime it gets to what, the bottom of it, there's some kind of what pattern that is formed. This is what, a pin bar, right? This is a pin bar. If you look here, this is a bearish engulfing, right? If you look here, this is what a pin bar. If you look here, this is um in fact considering this three, it was monster, right? So all what what about patterns that I'm I'm talking about? If you remember what they actually do, you, you understand that, okay, it is true that when they form at this particular level, that's, that's what actually happens, right? The hammer type, when they form, price move up, it's a bullish candle. When this hammer also forms, it's a bullish candle. Now, the money star is a bullish candle. Now, when you take the bearish one, the bearish and girlfriend is a bearish one, right? So when you see it's at the top, price move down. You see, now when you look at this pin bar also, pin bar is a bearish, this particular pin bar is a bearish type. Look at how it's formed. So it's as simple as that, right? You don't need to think too much. You just have to relax. In fact, learning this is very basic and it's very uh, nice, very enjoyable, right? Just relax and you get it. So don't skip any of the videos. That is my advice to you. Now, as you can see in the example above, the market is, trendless, right? meaning it's not trending. It is trading between horizontal support and resistance. And you can't apply the same techniques that you use in trading in trending market to trade and go bar patterns in range band markets. That is it. Now, let me give you an example. When you are driving your car, you don't always drive the same way. You don't always drive the same way. If you are moving downtown, you, 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 what, you try to what, drive slowly. Downtown means when you're driving in town, where they are there, they're there. people are populated, people live around, people live in that area, right? Street, or street in, in what? Uh, street among what? People, as in township, right? You, you drive slowly because people are on the road, people are living there, they have a lot of pedestrians. So when you're on that road, what do you do? You drive slowly. Because you know that driving fast can put your life or others' life in danger. Now, but when you are driving in a highway, a highway, you understand, we know what's a highway, right? You are driving, your driving style changes completely because you know that you can drive fast. In fact, this is automatic. It happens. In fact, if you're a driver, I'm a driver, I, I, I drive. So I, 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 I do understand this uh, analogy. Right, it's very vivid to me. So if you are a driver and then you are driving a, a, on a highway, you can actually what speed up because the road is what free, right? No pedestrians around, and then normally the cars are even not many on the road. So you can actually. So the moment you get to that road, in fact, it happens to you. Sometimes it's not intentional. I don't know when I'm driving, I get to that road. It's not intentional. I just start what gassing up. It happens. So this is the same way we have to treat the market, right? It depends on the, the market structure, 
that what you adapt towards a particular word training strategy. So that is how it is. So when you are, the market is consolidating, you stick to that strategy. If it's trending, you stick towards the trending type. If you think you cannot be using more than uh, one strategies, then I think it's best what you you, you stick you, you stick to what one strategy, and then you wait when that strategy is not ready, or that market structure is not what ready. So it's as simple as that. Now you have to what do the same thing when you are trading the engulfing bar pattern because all price action strategies we discussed before would not work in range bound markets. And you have to use the right techniques that fit these market conditions. Before, you, before talking about the right way to trade trend, trendless markets, we have to be selective about trading range bound markets to protect your trading account. Because not all side, sideways markets are worth trading. You have to know how to differentiate between sideways and choppy market. Sometimes uh, these two market structure can be confusing, right? The sideways, which is the consolidating, sometimes can be confusing the choppy one, right? So we have to be careful. Let's see how the choppy market looks like. You see this particular side, this market is choppy. Choppy in the sense that if it were to be, um, Consolidating, you could actually see that price will move this way like this, come way like this, move way like this, come way, and then we see. But here, realize that it's not happening. So, price acted as if it's moving up. We didn't go anywhere. Then it came this way here. You see, in fact, if you remember what you said earlier, that when drawing uh, horizontal lines, uh, in fact, the resistance and support, the line should actually touch at least two what? Two points on your on your on your on your whatever on your or uh, your on your levels. But I realize here lines are actually touching anyhow on the what on the support, but on the on the resistance level we only see one, only one. And sometimes I know someone may in fact someone watching this video may tell me that ah no, this is actually what a consolidating market. So you see the, how confusing it is. So the moment you realize you can not clearly identify this, then to you, that should be a choppy market. Hence, stay away from that market. It's as simple as that. You are protecting your, your what? Your capital. That, that, this should be the, 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 the most important thing to you, right? You are in this business to make profit, not to lose money to the, uh, the market anyhow, carelessly. Now, as it is illustrated above, the market trades in a crazy way. We can't identify major support levels and resistance. You have to stay away from these types of markets. Otherwise, you will definitely um, damage your trading account. Trading the engulfing bar pattern candle in range bound market is very simple. The first strategy is to be about trading this price action pattern from major support and resistance level. So we are talking about major, so they should be clear if you are not clear, please stay away. For this, we can say this is what a range mode market, right? We start from here, one point. This is another point. This is another point. This is another point. This, in fact, this is another point. Another point. Then this is another point. You see, touching more than three. So this is a ranging market. Simple. The second strategy is to trade a breakout of the range or to wait for the pullback. Uh, you can wait for a pullback or you can just enter. It's as simple as, as that. I don't want to talk too much here. The third is to trade the fall breakout of the major support level or resistance. The major support or resistance level, right? So let's see. Force breakouts are one of the most powerful price action strategies. It occurs in all types of markets. And if you know how to use it in combination with the engulfing bar pattern in the major support level or resistance, you will make money in the market because you will buy intelligently at the bottoms and sell at the top. This is it. Simple, still considering your, your patterns. 
So this behaves as if this is one level, another level, right? Now, when you go to here, when you go from back, this is a go from back. So you can actually go to sell here, right? And then you can even buy here, sell here. Now, when you go to here, there was what? A breakout. There was a breakout, an actual breakout. But here was a false breakout. You see, price intended to move above this, this resistance, right? But it didn't move up. It, move, it tried moving up. Then within some minutes or some time, price moved back down again. So this is what we call a false breakout. Behaving as if it's going to break out, but it's, it's a false alarm, right? It didn't move up. It's a fake out. So that's what we are talking about. So you should be watching out for these things. You should be a bit conservative when trading. So we will end here and then continue later in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe to our video, our channel. See you in the next video. Bye.